Hey everybody, welcome back to another edition of Ask Jimmy Dick. So like I told you before, on my social media pages, I put a thing on there asking a question. What's one thing that you have a struggle with in the kitchen or that you just can't seem to get right? And one of my um, subscribers said, the perfect scrambled egg. You know what? It's easier than you think. However, don't feel bad if you don't make the perfect scrambled egg because there's just a few things you probably didn't know. So let's do this. It's super easy once someone shows you this technique. So in here I got six eggs and we're going to add just a little bit of milk or in this case half and half. And all that's going to do is going to steam and it's going to, you know, create pockets in there of air and make them really light. Now we're going to whip these eggs up. And I found you can use a whisk, whatever you want to do, but a fork works just as good. And you want to whip them good, just so that you don't have any big old white parts of egg white while you're cooking. So whip the crap out of them. Here's another tip. <clears throat> do not salt and pepper them at this stage. Never salt and pepper before you cook them because it makes the eggs tough. True story. So in this pan, over a medium heat, I'm melting butter. You must use butter or even baking grease for flavor. It just, you gotta add a little extra fat to these things if you want them to turn out good. This is like a tablespoon of butter. Maybe just a hair more. So once I get it good and melted, we're just going to pour our eggs in. Now here's the thing people do wrong. They cook it on too high a heat and they don't constantly stir it. It's okay to let it go initially for just a minute or two so that the bottom can start to cook. My eggs were super cold and my pan just got turned on. So, Also, a rubber spatula is great because you want to be able to completely clean the sides. Okay, if you look, you can see it's starting to cook, right? So, we're just going to get it all off the bottom and the sides. Non-stick pans are the best for this. And we're going to cook. We're going to keep stirring. And when it really starts to get going, just take it off the heat for a minute and stir it that way. Just for a minute. And then bring it back. Don't be in a hurry either when you're making the perfect scrambled egg. They should be light and fluffy and melt in your mouth. Not hard with burnt edges, <laughs> none of that stuff. Okay, and when you can start to do that, where you can see the bottom, take it off the heat again, because that's a surefire way to get them to burn. And we don't want that. And we don't want them, and not necessarily burn like in brown in color, but hard, we don't want that. All right, and we'll return it right here. Another mistake people make is they want to wait and cook it all the way until it looks done. Do you see how the top of this looks a little bit wet? That's when you stop cooking it completely because there's residual cooking going to happen and residual heat. So we're just going to let this sit for a minute and they will be perfect. Look, all the moisture has evaporated in that residual cooking, and what you're left with is perfectly fluffy and soft scrambled eggs. Mmm. I hope you try them. It's really simple. Once you apply those techniques, oops, hang on, I almost forgot. We gotta season these babies up with a little salt and a little pepper. 
Now, you have the perfect ones. Mm, mm, mm. Hope you try it.